Mr. Shine. Mr. Shine. Mr. Shine. Mr. Shine. Hello, hello, it's Mr. Shine. Let's continue our druid run, shall we? Three and one. So I don't know if you notice, um, all of those avid viewers out there, uh, I this recording is with my new microphone, my blue snowball. I'm pretty pleased now that I, I finally got this. And it was a good time too because the other microphone broke. It just stopped working. It was one of my headsets. I'm still using the headset for audio, but um, no more, no more microphone. So yeah, let me know what you think. If this is better, worse. I know that it catches a little more of the background than my other one did because my other one was right in my face and was you know, not as good of a as a microphone, but that's all right. Can't really change it now. All right, so let's see what we want to do. This is a lot of threes. I have a lot of twos in this deck. It's tempting to keep this. I definitely want to keep this Scarlet Crusader, although it's not as good here. I think I might want to keep this. Hmm. No, Shattered Sun without a two is probably. I think I'm going to do this. I have so many twos and threes. Scarlet Crusader is good. I have a good chance of getting a two drop. There's my two drop. I like this much better. So now I have some options as well. I can choose to play up, oh, and Scarlet or Shattered Sun is there as well. That's actually real good. So I, of course, can either. I'm not going to coin for my two because I don't have anything to follow it up. And now I could coin out a three, and I think I will coin out a three. I have a lot of great threes, and Harvest Golem is very good, especially here. And then I could follow it up with another strong three. Do that. Scarlet Crusader is not as good here because of the knife. But this knife juggler cannot do too much to three damage unless he wants to frostbolt it or something. I think in this case, I think that I, if I do this and then trade this and do that to survive, that may be best. Or I do this and bring it into that, which this is not the greatest. I think I would Shattered Sun here. It can trade for either of those, but this will still live and it'll have to be a ping and that'll be really annoying. That is fine. And the next turn I can do another three and claw or something different. Just because, you know, this... I mean, we'll see what he does. He has a few... He could get some lucky knives too, but... That was pretty perfect. That was very perfect. But I think in this point, it is probably time well, even that, maybe I just Oasis and just leave that. I'm not that scared of it. Oasis will kill it, although his five turn is not great. This, there's a chance that he would not be able to... Or I can bring that and Clot. Which, I almost want to keep the flexibility and this will do just fine. Unless he Kodos me. Really, Kodos the only thing. I'm not going to be that scared of this 3-2. Kills it for free. I can drop this next turn, or I can drop this end claw. Hmm, that's not particularly good. Oh, good. Arma, sir. So he cannot kill it. He's just going all out face. And I think this will kill that. And I will claw to kill that. Does that make sense? This is at 3 HP. It's a 4 4. That's dead. His board is cleared. That makes sense to clear him. Yes, that's what I will do. So I'm gonna have to watch out now. He is a mage, of course. I'm getting low on HP, and he's going right for my face. Next turn is the flame strike turn. Well played. Well played. Is he well played because I cleared him, or is he well played because I am dead? He's going for my face. Oh no, he's not. Okay. So in this case, I could bring two minions out. Or I can bring this out and trade. That may be better, actually. Or do I bring two minions out? These two. 
That actually might be best in this point. In this, I mean, they both do not die to flame strike, and then that is two minions out versus just one, and that is perfectly fine for me. Let's see what he got turn 7. Unfortunately I don't have many big things and it's getting to late game when this deck does not do very well in late game. So a particularly big thing would be a little frightening. At this point I will probably play both of these next turn. I will want to give this taunt I imagine. Ooh that's really risky. But it worked very well. Three of those. And it did not hit my Acolyte of Pain. That's a nightmare. Much disappointment. So here and there, I do believe. Let's get a card first. I think make any sense to do that. You'd have to get through it anyways. Flame strike. Well, flame strike could happen. Let's see what I got. All right, four, three, five, seven. This would be no four, four. That's not worth it. All right, let's do this, and shields up. Actually, it is tempting to kill that, but I think I want to get some taunt action here. Probably dead in this game. Those arcane missiles have been very strong. All right, what is that? Okay. Well, that will trade for those two. Maybe I should have killed that. It is definitely this. Alright, so I of course want to be wary of a um, a good old fashioned not counter spell, but a, a mere entity. So I'll probably play Youthful first. And I will bring that back. Kill one of these. Let's see what I got. That, I, that will probably be more. That'll be useful for me, I think, a little bit later in this game. All right. So we got that. That's fine. Especially if I bring this out and that. Or do I want to? I think I still will want this out. I want to keep this, those things together. So I think now is the time for this, and I will put my trusty. Fairy Dragon right in the middle to prevent any sort of cold, Cone of Cold shenanigans. Flame Strike would ruin me, but I cannot play around Flame Strike at this point in the game. I forgot. I should have. I should have gotten my put my new new fancy deck. All right, interesting. I actually might win this game now. I very well might win this game. In fact, is it worth no? I don't want to play that now, do I? I kill that. I probably bring both these out, don't I? Yeah, that's great. Totally fine. The only downside is, of course, Kono's cold. But you know what? That's fine. I also have a swipe coming up with that. That'll be real good. How did I get so much card advantage? I guess he played Mirror Entity, or Mirror Image. What do you got there? Since I can, probably worth, <laughs> probably worth doing nothing at this point. I have a lot of damage on the board. I want to avoid any sort of mind control tech. I'm dealing a ton, and this will help give me some armor. I actually think it is worth doing nothing here, and that will give my questing more. I mean, I have such a strong position. I mean, if he had double fireball, I would have been dead already. That I might as well just do that. And I have five, I have nine damage, surprise. So maybe that actually would have been better <laughs> to put one more down to kill him next turn.
See if Swipe can do some work here. Looking for his answers. Oh. So Flame Strike is probably coming. Which makes me feel like I don't think I swipe him here. I do think I kill him there. And maybe I just drop if I drop two of these, no, because that'll die. This will be a 7 7, that's what I'm gonna probably do. Myself some taunts. Now has cards. But I am not going to play around mind control tech at this point. Even if he gets my 7-7 seven, seven with it, he should still be dead. He cannot clear me completely. And again, I have 9 damage in hand. I probably win now. But he does have a lot of cards. <laughs> so many cards. Oh, so many cards. I've been playing... I was very passive in this game. But again, it was one of those situations when he passes a turn and I have 9 damage on board with 2 taunts, I feel like, why invite, why invite the opportunity? The only reason I did it here was because even if he threw that out, I would still um, be able to kill him with the damage that I have in hand. Ah, that's what he's got, alright. Alright. Yes. Swipe! Swipe! Swipe for the win! Yay! Us! Go us! We dodged an angry Leroy. And we used his chicken against him. Alright. Well, good. Well, we'll kick this one off good. Four and one. Moving on, working on my quests. Uh, I will continue a little bit later tonight. And I'll see you next time!